Our next guest has assisted Katie Jeffries in her Unsolved series, and I'm really excited to get to learn about Project Cold Case. So let's introduce Ryan Backman to the show. He's the founder and executive director of Project Cold Case. So thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Jordan. I really appreciate it. We'll talk about what exactly Project Cold Case does, but why did you want to start this? Well, Jordan, unfortunately, in my situation, uh, my dad was murdered in Jacksonville, Florida, uh, here locally in 2009, and his case uh, went cold rather quickly. And I spent the next few years after his murder kind of feeling all alone and, and wondering, having lots of questions about unsolved cases and what happens now. And uh, are you ever gonna find the person that killed my dad? And, um, and that led me to uh, organizations like Project Cold Case that were assisting families of, of violent crime. And ultimately I realized there was a more specific need for uh, the families of unsolved cases. And uh, so that's why I started Project Cold Case in 2015. Well, first of all, I'm very sorry to hear about your father, um, but the fact that you're kind of trying to turn it into something that can help others um, is a great thing. So thank you. I have to ask then, do you work on cold cases? So we don't actually investigate cases. I mean, okay. prior to starting the organization, I was a project manager for an architectural firm. Oh. So I don't have experience uh, investigating, but what I do have is a uh, is compassion for the families and now that i've been doing this for you know over a decade um i have connections with law enforcement and it's not uncommon for me to be able to reach out to law enforcement and ask them to take another look at a case but ultimately uh, our goal is to help raise awareness for the cases and then provide support and advocacy for the families that are still waiting for answers and speaking of getting the word out there is an upcoming event can you tell us about that yeah, so every year we do an annual Year of Hope event, and it's an opportunity for Project Cold Case to invite our supporters, our friends and families uh, to come out and, um, and learn about what we've done in the last year, some of the uh, success stories that we've had. Um, while I mentioned we don't uh, investigate cases, we have had uh, 33 cases solved that have been featured on our website. So uh, we like to share those successes with our supporters and our families, give them some hope. Uh, and then we have we like to raise money uh, for future endeavors and goals and uh, awareness campaigns that we look to do in 2022. So on January 29th, we'll be hosting our seventh annual Year of Hope event at the uh, Hardage Giddens Legacy Lodge on San Jose Boulevard, just behind Calico Corners, which uh, anybody that's driven up and down San Jose knows where that is. Yeah. Um, and we'll do that uh, Saturday the 29th from 1 to 4 p.m. Uh, everybody's welcome to join us to come out. We'll have some more d'oeuvres drinks uh, and, and learn a little bit about Project Cold Case and the families we help. If somebody though wants to maybe volunteer or donate money and they can't make it to the event, I mean, how do they get in touch with you? Uh, the easiest way obviously is uh, social media, uh, Facebook, we're uh, at Project Cold Case, um, just all one word, Project Cold Case. Uh, and then our website, which is www.projectcoldcase.org. Uh, there's ways to donate through both of those links. And then, uh, you know, our Facebook page, you can like it and follow along. We share those stories. We share spotlights of, of cases that uh, every week, um, we share Katie's stories when she does the Unsolved series and we help her out with those. Uh, so it's really an opportunity to see the real life impacts of violent crime and unsolved crime uh, in our own community. Yeah, in our own area. I think when we watch a lot of those shows, we can separate ourselves from it because that, that didn't happen in my backyard, you right. know, but if it hits home, uh, whether it's someone you know or just the area you're in, maybe uh, more people will be apt to help. So thank you so much for helping us get your message out. Thank you, Jordan, for having me. I really appreciate it. Of course. And if you'd like to see this segment again, just head on over to firstcoastliving.net.